It's widely accepted among scientists now that at the centre of our galaxy, the Milky Way, there's a supermassive black hole. But not everyone agrees. Some researchers argue that the dark mass in the centre isn't a black hole at all, but a concentration of dark matter. As its name suggests, dark matter can't be seen directly. Its presence is implied by the gravitational effects that it has on visible matter. One of the pieces of evidence for it is that galaxies would fly apart or couldn't even have formed in the first place unless they contain a lot more mass than can be seen in the form of stars, gas and dust. The conventional view is that galaxies such as the Milky Way are surrounded by giant halos of dark matter which serve to bind them together. But could there also be dark matter in their cores? One reason to think there might be dark matter lurking at the heart of the Milky Way is the so-called gamma ray excess. This is a surplus of gamma radiation, the highest energy form of electromagnetic radiation coming from the galactic core for which there's currently no visible correlate. Among the possibilities are that the gamma rays are produced by a population of young pulsars, rapidly spinning neutron stars that send out high energy beams like cosmic lighthouses. But it's also possible that the gamma rays could be coming from the self-annihilation of dark matter particles. The movement of stars and gas clouds at the galactic center indicates they're being whirled around at great speed and in some cases are being torn apart by a concentrated central mass. Most likely it's a supermassive black hole, but similar effects would be produced by a dense concentration of dark matter. In fact, the dark matter hypothesis its supporters claim can help explain some anomalies that have been seen. In 2014, a gas cloud named G2 came so close to the central mass that it was expected it would be pulled in and destroyed if a giant black hole lay there. Instead, it just carried on its way intact. The reason, say some researchers, is that what lies at the center isn't a black hole. Recently, a team from the International Center for Relativistic Astrophysics in Rome ran a computer simulation in which the central mass was assumed to be dark matter. The results? Very similar to those that a central black hole would produce. Stars in the core moved in the same way and there was no difference in the overall rotation of the galaxy. With so many unseen things of importance in the universe such as black holes, dark energy and dark matter, astronomers have their work cut out. But as new results come in and theories are put to the test, they hopefully won't be kept in the dark too long.